Now let's start with seeing some ITJ previous year examination questions on this chapter that we are studying applications of derivatives. We already have studied almost all the concepts, some concepts which are actually not mentioned in the syllabus and on which the ITJ questions were asked, we have covered those also in these questions that we will be taking up. The question was asked in the ITJ 2015 main examination and it says the normal to the curve x square plus 2xy minus 3y square equal to 0 at 1, 1, then 4 options are there, doesn't meet the curve again, meets the curve in second quadrant again, meets the curve in third quadrant again and the last but not the least option meets the curve in fourth quadrant again. Now see, you have been given the equation of one curve x square plus 2xy minus 3y square and a point that you have to talk about is 1, 1. Now we have to talk about the meeting point. For the meeting point, let's first find out the derivative. So I write solution and I start finding the derivative. So what about the derivative? I have to say the curve equation is nothing but x square plus 2xy minus 3y square equal to 0. Now when I have to find the derivative, I have to differentiate it with respect to x. So differentiating, in short I am writing, with respect to x gives me what? It gives me 2x, x squares differentiation is 2x plus 2 making it common xy r in product the differentiation is xy dash plus y where y dash is dy by dx minus 6y y dash and it is equal to 0. Now let's find out from here what is the value of dy by dx. So it is nothing but 2x dy by dx minus 6y dy by dx and the other terms to go to the other side minus 2x minus 2y. Now let's take out dy by dx value, dy by dx is equal to minus 2 is coming out as common x plus y upon 2x minus 6y is there, let's take 2 again common it is x minus 3y. Let's cancel whatever cancels, so we get it like minus x plus y, let me make it more clear, it is minus x plus y upon x minus 3y. Now this is the value of dy by dx or this is the value of y dash that we have got. Now after you have got y dash, you have to talk about the point. So the point is 1, 1. What is my dy by dx at 1, 1? The value is minus 1 plus 1 upon 1 minus 3. So it is minus 2 upon minus 2 which is nothing but plus 1. So the slope that you have obtained is plus 1. Now let's find out some equation. Let's find out the equation of the tangent. Let's find out the equation of the normal. But it is talking about only normal. So let's not talk about the tangent. Let's directly find out the equation of the normal. Now you know that dy by dx is the equation of the tangent, is the slope of the tangent, not the equation, I'm sorry. When it is the slope of the tangent, what is the slope of the normal? It is minus 1. So directly finding the equation of normal, the equation of normal is y minus y1, where y1 is 1, is equal to the slope, which should be minus 1, multiply x minus 1. So it is y minus 1 is equal to minus x plus 1, or x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus y is equal to 2. This is the equation of normal. Now directly speaking, x plus y is equal to 2 is of lot of importance to us because when we have to find out the meeting point or the intersection, directly I'll use the equation of the curve, directly I'll use the equation of the normal. So moving further, I have the equation of the curve as x square plus 2xy. So 2x is fine. What about y? Let's find out the value from equation number 1. So it is nothing but 2 minus x. Then it is minus 3y square. Minus 3 is fine. What about y? It is again 2 minus x the whole square. And that all is equal to 0. So I have to write from 1. Understood? Now it is x square plus 4x minus 2x square. It's a simple expansion. Minus 3 4 plus x square minus 4x equal to 0. Again, 
expanding, opening x square plus 4x minus 2x square minus 12 minus 3x square plus 12x is equal to 0. What all x square terms are there? Minus 2x square minus 3x square making it minus 5x square. What all x terms are there? x here, x here, in short it is 12 plus 4 is 16 x and one more x square is here. So, it is x square also. So, this has been covered up, these terms all have been covered up. We are left with minus 12. So, minus 12 is equal to 0. Let us now solve minus 4 x square plus 16 x minus 12 is equal to 0. It is plus 16 x and let us take whatever comes as common. It is minus 4 that is coming as common. So, it is x square minus 4 x and then it is plus 3 is equal to 0 x square minus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0 is the equation. Now, this is a quadratic equation. Directly, you can find out the values. So, splitting the middle term, I get x square, right, minus 3x minus x plus 3 equal to 0 or you can have x common. So, it is x minus 3. Then minus 1 common again x minus 3. So, it is x is equal to 1 and 3. Let us see if it satisfies also. I have definitely the sum as 4 the product as 3. So, 1 and 3 are the two values of x that you are getting. But is it enough? Is it all? Let us see again. So, x is equal to 1, x is equal to 3 is the value of abscissa. What about the ordinate? So, you have to put this value somewhere. So, let us take our solution here. I have to put in 1. So, when my x is 1, my y should be what? It is 2 minus 1 which is 1 and similarly when my x is 3, my y is what? x is 3 means here. So, it is 2 minus 3 which is minus 1. So, there are basically two points that are occurring. Let me write the points here. So, there are two points for the answer. One is 1 1. The other that you are getting is 3 minus 1. Now you tell me one thing, 1, 1 and 3 minus 1 is there. In this, you have 3 minus 1 and 1, 1. 1, 1 means the first quadrant, no option. 3 minus 1 is there. 3 minus 1 means what? It means we have positive x-axis. So it is positive x-axis but negative y-axis means this quadrant which is the quadrant number 4. So the answer is option number 4.